Hi guys, okay, let's go through this step by step. Thermo fan settings, pin 5 on the Arduino, okay, or in Tuna Studio, right? 85 degrees with a 3 degree hysteresis. The fan will switch on at 85, okay? We're sitting at minus 18 at the moment. Let's go to the Arduino, should, should I say the, uh, the, the code, which is January B version on utils.ino file. We have got pin fan connected to 5, same as Tuna Studio. We've got fuel pump connected to pin 4, and there are no other conflicting pin numbers inside the code. Right, back to Tuna Studio. We're sitting at minus 18 degrees. Now what I'm going to do is, there's the multimeter. I'm going to connect the multimeter to, well, before we do this, let's first of all understand what pin do we need to connect onto the IDC40 connector with the code that I've just shown you and the settings in Tuna Studio that I've just shown you. And the way we find that out is if we go to the schematic. So D5, according to the schematic, connects physically through Q6, which is true, which is correct, and onto high current number 2 out. According to the schematic, high current number 2 out connects to pin 38. Okay, let's test that. So we're expecting at 85 degrees, should I say 80, 88 degrees or higher, 3 degrees hysteresis, the multimeter should read 13.8 volts. That's what the power supply is pumping into the unit. My audio stem is running and we are idling at 850 RPM. So let's connect the pin 38, okay, which is over there. As you can see, 40, 39, 38. I'm going to connect that now to the meter and let's see if there's voltage. Yep, there's 13.85 volts, but hang on, that's a problem because I'm sitting at minus 18 degrees. Now, that doesn't make sense, so the fan is not working properly. Okay, so let's go and take the pot, let's turn our pot and increase the temperature to 97 degrees, 98 degrees. Still have a voltage, okay? So that doesn't really work. Right, let's try something else. Let's move the pin on the IDC40 connector to number 37. All right, pin 37. That's all I've done. And I connect my output. I have a voltage. The voltage is based on a temperature of 98 degrees. Now I'm going to hold, I'm going to turn the temperature below 82 degrees or 85, de 82 degrees. And there we go, we're sitting at 6, okay, minus 8. Now check here, the voltage has dropped. Now let's do that again. Okay, we're sitting at minus 8. I'm going to increase the temperature to above 100 and we have a voltage. Okay, so the fan is actually working on pin 37, not 38. So what does that tell us? Okay, let's go back to the schematic. Pin 37. Pin 37 we know, according to the schematic, will relate to idle out. But hang on, where does idle out connect to physically? Idle out connects through Q7 on pin uh, Arduino pin D6. Uh, Dave, I think you get the message now. So what we physically beep out is pin 38 connects to pin 2 on Q6. That's a fact. I've beat it out. It's on video. But, in practice, it doesn't work that way. Pin 37 on the IDC connector, using Tuna Studio setting pin 5, as well as code pin 5 for the thermofan, 
relate to pin 37? It should relate to, according to the schematics, it should relate to pin 5, Q6, high current to out, which is pin 38. It does not. So that is the confusion that I have. Let me show you something else. Remember, we have now got fuel pump pin 4. Let's have a look and see what fuel pump is set up inside Tuna Studio, board default. Okay, let's find pin, let's find the pin that the fuel pump is operating on. That's quite simple, that's quite easy to do. <clears throat> pin four on the Arduino connects, we know for a fact, through Q5 to a high current one out. The schematic says high current one out relates to pin 36. I will prove to you that that doesn't work. So we'll go back to the IDC connector and we'll go into pin 36. All right, now we connect that pin. There's five volts. It's not enough to connect a, a fuel pump, especially when you've got a supply of 13.8. Okay, now let's unplug the RG stem. So we no longer have an ignition pulse or an injection pulse. We still have five volts. So that's definitely not the fuel pump output. Let's reconnect our RG stem. We now have our signal going back into the Arduino. But let's move our IDC 40 connector pin to 38, which doesn't make any sense. And not according to the schematic anyway. We connect up that pin and we have 13.8 volts. Right, now watch this. Disconnect the audio stem. As I disconnect it, voltage goes away. Okay, if I unplug my USB connector, so I disable my Tuna Studio, I lose my voltage altogether, which is correct. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch off the power supply, which you'll hear in the background. I'll show you. Okay, now there's obviously going to be zero voltage. Now, as soon as I switch the power supply on, I should see 12 volts, 13 volts for 6 seconds, because that's my 6 second prime. 3, 2, 1 and 0. There we go. So, most definitely confirmed pin 38 is the fuel pump pin, according to an assignment in the code of fuel pump pin 4, Arduino pin 4, but the schematic says pin 4, high current 1 out, and high current 1 out is 36. So 36 is actually 38, and 38 is actually 37. So that is the point I've been trying to make. Sorry for the long video, guys, but do you get the gist of what I'm trying to say? I understand that my pin outs say one thing, and those pinouts that you're looking at there are 100% correct physically. You can beep them out yourself. But in practice, they don't work out that way. That is the point I'm trying to make. 